Let's begin with looking at how we set up Smart MFA. From the security policy, click on MFA and scroll down to the bottom. If enabled, you will see Smart MFA. By turning this on, you are telling OneLogin what risk level you will tolerate without prompting for MFA. Let's talk more about risk levels for a moment. Think of them as tolerance levels. How much risk will your organization tolerate? Minimal will prompt MFA in most circumstances. Low will have very strict standards, more than likely requiring MFA. Medium risk will typically decrease MFA prompts when a user exhibits predictable and secure behavior, which is what I chose for this demo. And high favors the user experience, doesn't usually require MFA, but will present the challenge at appropriate times. Next, let's look at an example of smart MFA in action. Here, I am logging into this demo account, which is normal behavior for me. Notice I am not prompted for MFA, and this event shows as being medium risk. Remember, that's how much risk level I told the system to tolerate in my policy. Now, I'm going to log out of one login and turn on my VPN to make it appear as if I'm in another location. Using the same credentials, notice that now one login is requiring me to use a second factor of authentication. I will accept the prompt using one login protects biometric acceptance. Heading back to the reporting events for this login, you can see this event shows as being high risk due to the change in location, which is why one login dynamically adjusted the authentication requirements.